pivot head. Oh, man, it doesn't end here. Tell us what's happening. It never ends. Well, pivot head's a good example. It's a, it's a 3D motion camera that you wear in eyeglasses, so as you turn your head, you can film things. Uh, we have uh, the new Samsung Galaxy 3S phone just introduced here. Very cool thing. Uh, we have a lot of interesting online companies and app companies. We've got all the big companies, HP, Lenovo, Toshiba, the latest and greatest in laptops and tablets. There's almost 60 companies here showing some very exciting things and uh, I'm sure it'll be interesting for you. Well, uh, why do you throw this event? Be because it's an opportunity for the biggest and most innovative companies and the most influential media to come together in a setting where they can really exchange about what's new and what's interesting. Okay, what's your website? It's www.pepcom.com. Last question, what's good news for you? What's that? What's good news for you? What's good news for me? Uh, just being here on Earth is always a good thing. We're happy to be here. Hi, this is Paul Sackis. I'm here with Duke Dang. Hi, Duke. How are you? Hi, how are you doing? Okay, good. Toshiba. We just came back from Japan. We started Good News Japan. Yes. And uh, it's a great company, Toshiba. Thank you. Very honorable in, in many areas, right? Yes. Medical, all kinds of things you yes. guys do. So tell us a little bit about the kind of products you have here today. So we're at Pepcom New York 2012. Uh, we we're showing our lineup of tablets. What we have here are two tablets I want to show you. Uh, one, which is our Excite lineup, uh, is a 7.7. What's unique about this tablet is that it's, a, it's an AMOLED display. So uh, what AMOLED does is it's a lot uh, a better and a richer experience in terms of uh, visual um, the presentation. Uh, as you can see, it's running Ice Cream Sandwich, but what the, from, from, a, from a software standpoint, uh, from a hardware standpoint, what we're doing is um, we've made it a lot thinner and lighter than our previous generation uh, Thrive 7. So this Excite 7 inch, uh, actually it's not compromising in any ports either. It has a micro SD slot, micro USB for syncing. A uh, slot for your microphone, or well, not microphone, but your headphones, and and micro. It actually works as a dual. Um, the power button stays on top, so all the all the buttons are kind of recessed. The uh, the volume toggle up or down, and this uh, button right here actually locks the orientation, or you can configure it to put on mute, right? Uh, in terms of the, the quality of the build, the front glass is made of grilled glass, so very uh, scratch resistant. I can scratch this and not really leave any marks. Um, the back casing is an aluminum casing, gets it much thinner and lighter, but it is a very mobile form factor. Um, therefore, we made it with a little bit of texture just to allow for better gripping without a, uh, an accessory case, but we also offer accessory uh, cases for them, of course. Uh, but overall, the Excite 7 inch offers you the portability for enjoyment of gaming and reading books on that, and that very, and watching video also, and seeing pictures on that very bright and fantastic looking AMOLED display. All right, last question. What's good news for you, Duke? Uh, I'm surviving the weather. <laughs> it's really hot out there this week, but uh, I'm loving New York. So great, great, uh, great city, great weather, great products we're showing today. Hi, Paul Sackis. I'm here with Jeff Leopold. Hi, Jeff. How are you? Good. How are you? Okay, good. Let's go by. Wow, look at this. Is this a new TV? I'm this sure. Is a brand new TV that we just launched uh, on this, earlier this week on Monday. It's the world's largest LED on the planet. It's a 90 inch LED TV with 3D, and it's available starting this week from Sharp. What does LED mean? I mean, not, not in essence the uh, what L the letters mean. What does that mean as far well, as the what good happens picture? is the good picture. What happens in this? This is a full array LED uh, technology, which means there are 500 LED lights that make up this television. Lights. So there's the lights that are shining through to give you this great picture. Okay. Well, what happened to lines? Wasn't there used to be a, something called lines or high definition? You know, 1,050 or something so like that. This is 1080p. So you you have you know, 1,080 uh, lines, and it's for the incredible high definition picture that you see. It's 1080p. Wow. Okay. And what are some of the special features in this? Well, first is that it's big, <laughs> right? Uh, and that, that, that in itself is a huge feature of this. It's four feet tall, it's uh, six, and a, uh, six feet, eight inches wide, only five inches deep. So it's really something that's slim, can actually fit on your wall as far as weight-wise, because it's only 141 pounds. So when you think about a big TV, it, it really comes in a package that makes it 
accessible to, to the home. It also has 3D. So to watch this in 3D, again, the big fact in the 3D is incredible. And it's also a smart TV. We have proprietary uh, software called uh, Smart Central, where you have access to your greatest apps from Netflix to Voodoo to uh, Hulu Plus to make it a great experience. And then you have all the bells and whistles as far as uh, your ports and what you connect, can connect to. Okay, so being a TV broadcaster on the internet for 13 years, or actually 14 on July 4th, um, uh, our dream was to uh, you know, do our worldwide thing on the internet, and then one day watch it on uh, Sharp TV. Are we here? Uh, you can watch anything on here, of course. This is, uh, this is really as good as it gets. I mean, you're looking at this beautiful picture, and so not only is it big, but it's also better television. It's, you can go up as close as you can get. People used to talk about how far you need to be away from the television. We encourage people to get as close as you can to it because of the great picture. Wow, okay. And sound? Sound. Great sound for a TV. Also, uh, Sharp sells sound bars to go uh, below it and you can get great uh, sound for your room. That's great. What's good news for you guys? Good news is this coming out this week and uh, being our flagship product for Sharp. and it's uh, Daybreak. Yeah, so, so what does that mean? So Daybreak is a new webisode series that you can find at daybreak2012.com. So what it is is if you've seen the show Touch on Fox, Keith and Kiefer Sutherland, um, it is a webisode series that picks off kind of where this season left off and goes into some backstory on, uh, on an object called the dodecahedron that was featured in the last few episodes of Touch. And What's cool is AT&T's innovation story is told through this. So instead of doing the traditional product placement, we really allow are able to um, show how AT&T's innovation and applications and, and really the, the, the actual devices we uh, sell are used in those series kind of progress the storyline. And uh, Tim Kring, who is the producer, I'm really uh, enjoys technology and visited the AT&T labs and saw what AT&T was doing 5, 10, 15 years down the road and he wanted to incorporate that into a storyline. So uh, the director from 24 is the director and uh, it's really exciting so go check it out at daybreak2012.com. Ah, so it's a webisode series. It is and it's a lot of fun. So I, I, there's uh, I think five episodes, each one's like about 10 minutes long and uh, they're really exciting and it's not this product placement that's going to beat you over the head is actually using the products like they're meant to be used and uh, in the storyline. So it's, 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 it's really good. at and is a great company. It's a socially minded company, socially responsible in many walks of life as well, aren't they? Absolutely. One of the things that we've done is we actually have looked at how can we be more eco-friendly. And so we have a device here. This is the Samsung Exilray. And it's one of, one of our phones that we've come out with that is a more eco-friendly device. Uh, we also have an eco-rating system that we've developed, and our phones will carry with it a eco-rating to show the environmental impact of the device. So we've got some really good things already, and we've got some more coming. All right, beautiful. Last question. What's good news for you? Good news for me. I am in New York City. That's pretty good news. I like, I'm from Dallas, so this is cool.